ASL Season 2, Premier League, Round of 16. Pride. So that's still up. Oh, well. He'll fix it. And uh, we'll get that. Yeah, down here on the bottom left hand side of the map, we have our uh, red Terran player who I'm going to have to look up his team name as well. Is it different than it was last time around? Maybe. I don't know. But from Templar, uh, Gaming. Templar Gaming. All right, awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, so from Team Templar Gaming, uh, oh, that's cool because he's got like almost like a Templar Knights type crest. This is the decal. Oh, thing. yeah. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, so anyway, from that team, it is... Boomerang. And Boomerang is uh, kind of carefully checking around. He was, took a look around the uh, third base area to see if there's any proxies or or anything suspicious uh, that he should be worried about. Getting He's his, no uh, fool. Stem factory. Exactly. But that said... Oh, he, he is going to send a, a CV over there. Is he going to yeah. do that? No. It's three in the morning. Forgive me. <laughs> um, I thought that Pride was going to chuck down a, uh, a factory. That's what I thought. Down there. He, he went over like quite deliberately. Um, yeah, it looks mad sneaky. Yeah. But and then in the end, the it was not to be. Gas too. Yeah. Like he went, yeah, he went there right as he had 100 gas. And I definitely thought that's what he was going to do. But oh well, uh, it is not. And uh, no. yeah, we get Pride uh, starting to expand. I actually just found out a few minutes ago that I've I've met Pride in uh, local tournaments, but he was under a different username at the time. So, uh, but he's come out to uh, several of the Toronto tournaments. So, this guy, a guy you've met, a guy you know. Yeah, I've, I've met him. I just didn't realize it was the same guy because he's changed. He's changed his new username since then. Yeah, but, that uh, can happen. It's always weird meeting guys you've cast. I met a guy at a, an offline event that I was casting at one point. I turned up, and the first thing he said to me was, you say my name wrong. And I went, <laughs> I'm like, who are you? Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, you say it right, and then I'll know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was I actually had a really good time with that guy. We went to the pub afterwards, and him and a, he was friends with a guy that I knew, and I was with a co-caster that I spent a lot of time casting with. So we went to the pub, and we all had a great chat. But uh, the first thing he said to me was, "You, <laughs> you're in trouble." Uh, and on the note of in trouble, Boomerang going for Raven first, which is quite interesting considering his opponent hasn't really showed that many signs of going for Banshees. Yeah, this I'm. Thinking this is some is now, sort of but... like you know elaborate all in sort of play because he's obviously still on one base. This is just a one base one 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 type opening here, and yeah. he's getting tanks, getting marines. He's being very careful on his placement to make sure no scouting or something weird happens. And he got the oh. raven just out of sight before uh, this is seen or the scan comes down, but he will at least see that the tech lab is there. I don't do know what they'll do with the information, though. Yeah, both of them have gone Raven. That's really weird. <laughs> it is a bit weird. Yeah, because uh, well, Pride scanned and he see the Tech Lab starport and he thinks, "Oh, it's going to be Banshees," yeah. and that's so unusual. Both yeah. of them have gone defensive Ravens, but I think but he should like kind of be able to see. We we actually saw someone, I think, around round of thirty-two do this, where he got scanned and caught with the Tech Lab, and it wasn't for Banshee, so he started Cloak Tech. Yeah, and then he cancelled it as soon as the scan expired. But uh, he didn't. Really like that. That so cool. a, yeah, it was. A, it's just a good idea to do that sort of thing. It's it's neat. If I ever get caught like during DTS, I just start blink on my like Twilight Council, <laughs> so that so that they think, oh, it's a blink all in instead of instead of DT. It's very true. As it is, though, Boomerang's going to be pushing out across the map with a couple of tanks, a few marines, and a raven to defend against imaginary banshees. Yep. And for what it's worth, I say that a bit jokingly, but you can throw down a PDD and use that as defense against Vikings for your Vikings, which means that you will be able to control the air and thus control the ground with tanks. It's a very smart play. So whilst I am messing about a bit, there's a very legitimate reason for a raven to be built in TBT anyway. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's uh, and uh, he's going to have to do some damage here. Uh, 
Boomerang is expanding behind this, but oh, Tank's uh, getting some good hits on uh, the Marines here. And nice uh, Hunter Seeker going off on uh, one of Boomerang's Vikings. Oh, he gosh. can actually land on that. Uh, the tank in the back. <laughs> He's just this is, there. This is crazy. I, I uh, the positioning. Okay, very yeah, cool. here he goes. Misplacement on the turret. He's landing. Okay, he can land on them, but close enough. Something that's a bit funky about the uh, auto turret is it has the highest attack priority of basically anything. Yeah. So if you put down an auto turret and then land two Vikings, the tank, as you saw, kept firing the auto turret, which is very silly. And that's why uh, the Vikings are remaining as intact as they are, with only one of them having been left uh, of, of the two, but still. She could actually go down now, looking at it. No, it's going to be okay. But this is forced to lift up from Pride. Pride had to retreat his command center back into his base, and behind this, Boomerang has established his own natural with this really nice aggressive push. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this has uh, worked out very well. He's even got uh, an SCV with this to do some repairing, although he's he's not, but it's there. The sentiment yeah. is there. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good effort. <laughs> Yeah, pretty good. I like that siege up on the low ground and then using uh, these to spot for it. Oh, and, uh, nice. Yeah, tank getting sniped off by uh, that tur uh, turret again. I think they count as casters is why they get that priority, oh. which, is, which is weird because they're not casters. They're the result of a cast, but I think that's the way they're prioritized. That's very strange, but uh, interesting, certainly. Boomerang now losing his air dominance, though, it has to be said. Um, yeah. Lovely scan though allows it to be negated, just picking off the two Vikings of Pride, deciding, nah, if I can't have any Vikings, no one gets any Vikings. And I really like this, this switch though. Look at what uh, where Pride is going with his starport right now. He is now getting a really late cloak and Banshee's out. Uh, Banshee's well. excellent against tanks. He will clear up now in the natural base and uh, take it back over. He's getting a uh, third command center on the way. And, oh, this drop will come in and actually see that Cloak is uh, on the way and be able to drop in the mineral line. Well, it's a question whether Boomerang's paying enough attention, yeah, because just yeah, because something gets that. scouted like that, I think he should... I mean, he should see it, but it's a question of whether he He'll understands it. He'll actually see it come out if he's paying attention. Yeah. If he uh, notices that, yeah. I think he might have seen that one at least. He was looking at his units at the time, so really that should have been seen. And is there a reaction back at home? Nothing. There's no reaction. This could be so, so serious. Pride's Banshee is almost halfway across the map now. There is, is there even an engineering bay? There's no eBay. So he's going to be relying purely on scans, and the mules are at the point where they could be used. If the Banshee arrives, and the mules have just been dropped, then this could be game-ending damage dealt by the Banshee of Pride. His own, uh, his own Banshee is going across the map, uh, however, but his does not have cloak. It is just a Banshee. Uh, compared to the cloaked one, which is now poking away at uh, the mineral line at the natural. A really interesting. Oh, lovely scan, but it's not enough, and it's driven that Banshee to the third, where Boomerang yeah. is attempting to take a sneaky third. Unsuccessfully, it must be said. Oh, Boomerang, I think he might have pulled the uh, old F2 to recall his army because his Banshee came all the way home. Uh, when he didn't mean it to. Oh, that is bad. That's the reason why I I yeah. always well, thought that was an incredibly it. bad idea. I know. And it's, I've never used it. It's one of those like things. It's a brand new like it didn't exist in Wings of Liberty, and I kind of wish that it didn't exist now because it's such a horrible habit. I yeah. like that it exists, but yeah. it's not a habit that I've ever used. It's I've used bad, it once. It's a bad habit. It, yeah. Yeah, I've only used it once, and it's in the last time I ever laddered, and it was because I just had no idea where. A sur I think it was observers. I had no idea where my observer had gone, yeah, so it's I a just good, went like, fine. Yeah, like grab or something. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, it's a good base trait uh, key. <laughs> just I'm bringing everything. <laughs> Fair enough, if that works. <laughs> uh, Boomerang building his, sec his third command center sorry, in his main now, rather than in the, uh, in the actual third base location, which is probably a little bit safer just from the off in the first place. However, it could be considered good practice to go for. But uh, Boomerang is teching up and has a really, really nice macro position to be going into this game, especially considering Pribe is yet to establish the third base. With these forces moving out from Boomerang to establish map control as well, he's actually going to move straight to it. I think he could deny this third base. Yeah, the Marines are going to be able to deny the third. That's really funny. Is he, is he going to sit under it? There's a, a Banshee flying by. Yeah, he will get under it enough. <laughs> Good <laughs> uh, try. Get out of your uh, entire building. 
I was. It always made me sad that you couldn't. I was felt that if there was a borrowed, it. yeah, like yeah. a borrowed Ling, I really feel I should be able to build a Nexus on it and suffocate it. But that's just me. Yeah, exactly. And I'm getting the uh, Banshee that was trying to go on by. I also think uh, Interceptor have... should be free. So. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Why would they not be? Come on. It's just. It just seems fair. Uh, at that point. Oh, this tank just in the wrong place. Just uh, so close to the edge of range there. Yeah. Not quite. Pride has a good defensive position at this point, uh, but he also has the lead in upgrades. So it, the longer this goes on, the greater chance that Boomerang could be allowing himself to walk into an upgrade timing. He's losing so many tanks for no reason yeah, as well. He's just bringing them just that little bit too close. I think he was trying to get an angle on the Marines on the far side, but. Uh, yeah, stepped in over into the danger zone. Mm. Nice drop in the main. Yep. Uh, yep. Coming out of boomerang. Picks the gas off. Picks a few things it's up. Going actually. after the reactor here. Uh, doesn't uh, end up finishing it off on the. Uh, That's nice. Uh, I would have liked to have seen these forces dropped onto the tanks, yeah. but instead he's actively trying to drop Marines on the he's SCVs. Trying to do it on the SCVs, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Very so cool play. Killed by this gonna leave and go home now but I'm not sure how many died there only four SCVs killed off it seems but it was quite an annoying attack that delighted and denied a lot of mining time and behind this boomerang is getting the third established still with a 20 worker lead over his opponent yeah which is uh, somehow surprising uh, to me that uh, because he was so much later in getting his actual natural down, but then he denied a lot of time at uh, at his opponents and picked up a few kills. It's not quite. It's a bit strange because Boomerang, I feel, should be ahead. But yeah. as I was talking about with the upgrades, two two has begun. Right, two two is hot, yeah. getting towards a, a quarter to a third of the way through. Oh, losing that in army as well. Oh, well, yeah, just uh, kind of get overwhelmed there. But there is a drop back at the uh, natural that gets uh, eight more SCVs killed. Yeah, but you can kill, yeah. you can kill you so many SCVs, and at the end of the day, if you aren't taking the, the good engagements, then your army back at home is going to be subpar. I really think all of the forces of Boomerang need to be panic defending in a fairly real sense. Yeah, and I think you can just straight up lose this third, and he yeah. will. Uh, just straight it's up gone. lose it. The fourth is uh, being built down there which is now the new third. It is, and I like that, but it does mean that Boomerang, for all of his macro posturing, for all of his theoretical lead, has been down an orbital for an incredibly long time. I'd say nearly five minutes has been down an orbital, and that's a lot of money that's been missed out upon, a lot of opportunity cost. Yeah, definitely. I mean, a 20-worker supply lead doesn't make any difference when you're sitting at 33 SCVs on your natural. It's That's not mining any better than your opponent is like that's just bad um, and his mind is uh, his main is mind out uh, almost <laughs> his mind is mean out uh, the, <laughs> really the, main, the main is also uh, very close to being mind out for pride but he does of course have his third established for uh, a period of time <laughs> it's a uh, it's quite back and forth this game in theory Boomerang should be ahead, but as it stands with the upgrade discrepancy, if Pride hits a 2 2 timing, I don't see any way in which. Trying to beat everything back in into the Pride blast play. here. This could be a big engagement for it Boomerang could. as his blasts uh, from these tanks are going off. Uh, tanks are not siege for Pride, but he does overwhelm uh, the position here, and uh, tanks are going to fall. It was actually a good decision to not end up uh, trying to siege his own and uh, just use that. Oh. Uh, that's um, that's not good. Losing all of those medevacs, that was kind of his advantage at this point because he was down on upgrades. He had a greater tank count but lost all of them due to just nothing dying on Pride's side of things. And Pride took the superior engagement at the end of it all too. So at this point, Pride, even though he's been down on macro for basically the entire oh, game, he's going to lose else. all these SCVs that oh, no. I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> They're I just mining off the wrong patches and... Uh, and, and that's just going to tip him off to the fact that this fourth yeah. base exists. Can't even lift off anymore. Yeah. Mm, yep, can't even lift off anymore because it's a planetary fortress. Yeah, he will get into a position to just siege it up, not being too hasty or aggressive. Uh, boomerang 
gonna try and get into a position to stop this, but I don't know really how he can. It's gonna be incredibly difficult. There are so many medevacs, and there. that could play a play a part. This is a decent engagement for Boomerang as well. Is, yeah. But not if he loses that tank. That's no. the strength. That was his only strength. Yeah, it does get taken out, and superior upgrades here are just gonna gonna rain over the superior heal. Rushing through. One eBay does not beat two eBays. No. Not unless you're going for something very special, very unique, and it just hasn't worked out. The end, it ends not with a bang, but with a whimper. <sighs> okay, guys. So we've got the second game of the series for you, and spawning in the gas optimal spawn. <laughs> in green, from Templar Gaming, we have our first turn. Boomerang. <laughs> and now up here on uh, the top left-hand corner, who is now sporting the uh, caribou with a maple leaf or something on its head. It is our yellow Terran player. <laughs> it is... Pride. I like that. It's a very, it is a very almost maple leaf reminiscent antler that he does have. He looks, he looks dashing and handsome. And I think it's a Mountie as well. Really? It's a, it's a caribou that's been deputized as a Mountie. <laughs> you know what's weird? I just noticed now. I don't think I've ever taken a close look at it. When you look at these, uh, like the spinning decals on the base, they don't actually spin around. They're, like the Which graphic... The graphic randomly just like flips at some point. Yeah, you see that a lot though. Yeah. On a lot of things. It's just it's just double sided, it's alright. I guess so. <laughs> it's just they're they're transparent though. So it's <laughs> it's hard to see it as like transparent double sided. Because then you should see the yeah. imbalance on the other side, you know? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I've never thought about this in this much depth yeah. before this point. I mean, but now on. Blizzard quality <laughs> assurance? What the hell? <laughs> yeah. they're, they're, they're too busy making widow mines like splash yeah. radius 12 or something what the hell <laughs> yeah so uh boomerang has uh taken one of those very efficient gases already and what a, uh, what a great guy he can't go wrong in that place no, both can't. of them are fine yeah and look at that uh, garbage gas taken by pride I I've believe never that seen... is actually the efficient one. That is the, the efficient team. one. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I just zoomed in on the, like, the SCDs and I'm like, no, they're hitting it. <laughs> they're hitting that, it like that was all right. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's the most northern gas yeah. in both the other two that is a little bit, a little bit funky. See, it's a uh, so yeah, smart call by smart call by Pride there, taking the right gas. His his victory is now assured. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way to do it, guys. Screw Mac. There was, there was actually a really long time where I never saw anyone lose if they yeah, were in the bottom exactly. base. No, if they were in the bottom base. Oh, right, just I never bottom. saw anyone lose in the bottom base. I only saw, and I only saw Protoss win if they were in the bottom base. I never saw, in fact, I'm not even sure if I've even seen a Protoss win if they aren't in the bottom base to this day. I just stopped looking for it, mainly yeah. because I got told off uh, for looking for it every time. <laughs> but uh, on that note, I should probably there. stop. At least get to see the, the CC is down, but uh, take a note. Shortly after that, uh, Starport is coming down for Pride, as well as two Hellions and uh, Starport on the flip side as well. And he's got his right next to a uh, idle tech lab, so uh, it looks like Boomerang may be going for Cloak Banshee again. Yep, he is lifting up. So he will make it's, the swap. Uh, well, I don't really mind the decision to go for Cloak Banshees on this map. It's quite a... It's quite a popular map. Oh, he's doing the thing again. He's, oh, he's yeah. lying. Yeah. He's yeah. like, oh, yeah. you thought I was going Banshees. No, no deal. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why. I mean, he is uh, prepared. Like, the way positioning of his Marines, the rally point on the Raven, it's almost like this is designed exclusively to prevent Oak Banshee. Um, also he accomplishing the same task as a scan. Yeah, true. Like, I really like the idea stuff. of um, 
of proxying on these kind of little overhang locations that don't really serve any purposes other than to hide stuff. Yeah. But I, I guess in a map like this, um, it's kind of, in a TVT, not worth proxying because you need to be defending from behind. Um, you have to always be prepared in case your opponent is proxying yeah. three star ports. Oh, okay, so this this big Helium Marine push is going to yeah. be shoving our Boomerang's ramp. It's pretty cool. And I'm kind of wondering what Boomerang intends to do about it. Yeah, it's, uh, this is actually just really deadly. Uh, look in here. Whilst, uh, whilst we've been examining the map and chatting away about that, yeah. unbeknownst to myself, there's a lot of Hellions that have been made here. Yeah. And Hellions are quite good. Even pretty against good. The these tanks, tanks here, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, tank pretty good, obviously, but uh, if there's just enough damage face. down on the SCVs... Get, get up, go to the yeah, no, he no. the But he wants these SCVs so bad, and he's getting... I think this is this is ultimately probably the right choice. Uh, possibly, to just kill yeah. 15 SCVs. I think, though, I think if he'd gone for the tank, he could have just killed it, and then yeah, killed all the it. SCVs. Whereas but instead, so now the tank is... Oh, with that on a siege. Yeah. Is it possible? Could he know? Is there any way for him to know? Yeah, the tank from Boomerang is moving up. Killing off the gas, though, is going to handicap the production of Boomerang as he moves into the mid-game. So Pride's attack has absolutely not been a failure. He's got a command center behind all of this and is generally looking incredibly good. This reminds me of that game when we saw Genesis a kill his opponent with two Reapers and a Hellion. Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> it, it does have the same sort of flavor to it. He's going to have to leapfrog with the tank forward yet again. Uh, another SCV is being picked off, and he's finally in a decent position to uh, to clean those up. And they will be so cleaned up at this point. Uh, the the tank doing sterling work, blasting away, and now finally the base is defended with Boomerang having just sent all of his SCVs down to the natural to keep them alive and safe. And uh, that is good. That <laughs> unfortunately the. The first half of them are not very alive or very safe. No, they're they're with no. God now, and uh, <laughs> and we got a big we got a big worker lead uh, certainly for yes with you with you. <laughs> Look after okay. them. Exactly. They've had a tough life. That's it. Yeah, don't make that them be quiet. Command center for sixty seconds is one yeah. hex off. That third command center for pride is one hex off. Correct. I hate it when people do that. Yeah, I know. That's what I told you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's brutal. It's just, you, it, there's a thing that tells you exactly where to put the damn thing. So I don't like it. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it. Like, just all oh, these mules, so inefficient. <laughs> you don't mm -hmm. like inefficient gas. I don't like inefficient minerals. We're resource mongers or something. But, uh, resource mongers. <laughs> But uh, yeah, pride is, across. pride is so ahead, obviously, in this. The really cool part, there's <laughs> there's still that one Marine just chilling out in the back of the base. And the uh, <laughs> and the tank is like, it doesn't know what to do. He's like waiting for this auto turret to like just time out. So in about a minute and a half, <laughs> he's going to be able to attack Marine in the back. Yeah. If that tank is moved, then he could kill one, maybe even two SCVs. Good. There's a really good one. There's like two damage. There's one SCV with three hit points and one with 17. He could definitely get 20 damage done. Easy. It's four <laughs> shots. That's, a, that's an ob obscene yeah. amount. I think this is a clear case of nerfs on the horizon. Exactly. Uh, but as it stands, Pride is looking... He's currently in the position the Boomerang oh. was last game. He tried um, to... <laughs> he tried to get by the auto turret, but the auto turret wasn't having it. So he's, nope. he's safe again. <laughs> it's a good effort. Uh, but, yeah, I'm just looking around, and we're seeing that Pride's got the double upgrades once again. So Boomerang doesn't have that flip side of things, but in this game, Pride's got great SCVs, has got superior upgrades, has got a really strong army count, and Boomerang is going to have to hit some kind of timing or do something big, make some big plays, to really get himself back into this if he wants to stand a chance of winning this game and not going through to the loser's bracket. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that is true. Um yeah, he's he's really fighting uphill by a fair bit at this point. That auto turret has expired. This uh, marine could be raining down hell any time now. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's coming. I hope so. The storm on the horizon will be awesome. 
Marine gonna come out and uh, kind of scout around this uh, Zelnaga tower and get picked off and see the force that is on the move. Um, he's gonna have uh, the tank count is still in uh, Boomerang's favor by by three, so that definitely makes him harder to actually attack into uh, as he tries to get his third base established. And it looks like he's gonna. Mm run off for a drop as well and there's not really turrets or tanks uh, actually in the main or natural of pride so if there's one area that is vulnerable it's the fact that this army is just so far away uh, from home that uh, he may not be able to muster defense and this uh, <laughs> the, the marine <laughs> that was in the back of his base uh, came in and did indeed kill three SCVs that's amazing yeah. I'm so pleased. That Marine has made the whole exercise worth it, if it wasn't already. And it was worth it already. Yeah. What great stuff. Um, I'm yeah, just looking at the... Man get the yeah. There's some good maneuvering around the map at this point. Uh, Pride just has total map dominance, but he missed that little spot where the medevac sneaked up? in. Is he going to pick up? No, he goes oh, the other he way. Gets it. Oh, loses it. Those That's barriers are merry-go-round. That could have actually, yeah, no, I know, I hate that crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it looks like he could get away, but you can't. There's like invisible walls. Mm. Um, no. Air force fields. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's a shame for him because there was definitely room, I think, to get some uh, damage done. Had he gone right into the main, I think uh, it might have taken a little bit longer to uh, respond. But, uh, of course, he can't know where and when everything is. But, uh, he, he can't, no. not without a sensor tower, when of course yeah. he just does. And in fact, there should be one of those now going down in the natural to prevent such uh, such glaring errors in the map vision going wrong. Because at this point, if we look at Pride's, uh, Pride's vision, he can see every base, and yeah. he's actually attacking into one of them, which helps, so he's getting an extra yeah, base. He's going right distance. after this, uh, takes it down. Uh, tanks are being cleared out here. Slowly but steadily. There were... Uh, oh, uh, Hunter Seeker, will it go good? Eh, all right. <laughs> he picked but, it up. Uh, he picked yeah. up the tank yeah, it was locked that onto. Was awesome. That's fantastic. But at this point, Pride smells blood. He's busting up the front of the natural. He's got his tanks. He's going to rock in. And there's so little left for Boomerang with this siege up of the tanks. If he chooses to siege up, he's not even choosing to siege up. He yeah, just goes, just nah. Not. SCVs ain't no thang for my tanks. Busts them down. Takes out the natural command center as fast there as There is a huge drop for Boomerang back in the third, but I don't think this is going to get... Is still going to matter. He is still outnumbered, and uh, Pride will win yet again. So.